take her out of here. I'm not on your side. What will wind up happening is she'll wind up over there and uh, she'll wind up lonely. I really believe that. I really believe that. Um, oh, I got all sidetracked. I was going to... Oh How do I do that stuff? I got all excited. I had another train of thought going and I lost it. I'm going to have to pause this. Oh no, I got it. I got it. Sorry about that pause in there. I'll write something on the screen. I'll do little annotations that, uh, like uh, Jack's thinking or something. Anyway, I get a, a lot of things are mentioned about money. A lot about money. People help other people over here. It's just the way it is. They borrow, they swap money back and forth all the time. They, they, a lot of people live on what they call their credit. But their credit that they have here is usually good for 30 days and then they pay it off. They don't do uh, uh, credit like in the United States where you get so deep that you'll be buried for half of your life trying to pay it off. Um, do I get asked for money? No. No. I think... Um, if I really, really think I've been asked about four times, three of those times were little kids that said, I'm not sure, but if you want to give me money, I will take it. And it was just like that. One kid was just like that. If you want to give me money, I'll take it. Another one says, if you want to give away money, I'll, I'll, I'll come by and I'll get some. Because people don't know your financial situation. They also here in the news where the United States gives money to everybody in every country. They donate, they give money out, and especially kids, they look and go, huh, maybe he wants to give me some money. One kid broke me up, he says, I live over there, I live right there, and if you want to give me money sometime, you know where I live at. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you very much, yeah. But I've never been asked or pushed for money. Uh, that could be a lot due to Myra also. Uh, Myra is extremely protective. I think if anybody was uh, was uh, heading that way or pushing that way, she would uh, cut them off at the pass in, uh, in about 30 seconds. As a matter of fact, I found people very good about wanting to pay for services from me, which kind of astounds me. I've worked on computers. I've been, matter of fact, a couple of times I've got more than I ever would have asked for. Um, today's an example. A couple of girls wanted me to set up Facebook for them and, uh, and an email. So I set them up with email and Facebook and they come back and brought me a couple of bottles of beer. They knew I liked this uh, San Miguel because one of the girls had worked at the store down there. And they brought me two beers back. I said, no, you don't have to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. So, so I'm finding that, that it's the other way around from what I hear other people talk about. Um, I also mentioned in my last video, one of the video, one of the last few, become part of the culture. Borrow a few pesos. Borrow 10. Borrow 20. Borrow 30 and make sure you pay it back and play that little tiny game back and forth with them and nobody thinks you have thousands then because you've done the game with small amounts of money. Now, that's an opinion. I may be totally wrong. I may be totally wrong. But I, 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 I talk about things that, uh, that work for me. Uh, I don't have a lot of money. Just plain don't have. What I have, I, I I mostly give away. I, I want to be taken care of. I like the idea of somebody caring for me. I like somebody. Uh, I like the idea that uh, I know the meals are going to be here. I know that uh, it's going to be uh, my laundry is going to be done. The house is going to be clean. I li like that, and uh, I don't want much more than that. The little things I want more are mostly so I can play online. 
um, my expenditures are uh, are small. I mean, my my personal costs are small, and if I can uh, help somebody around here, and uh, I try to do it when when it can be done. Uh, a thing I mentioned in the other video is school. The one thing about it, if you come over, or if you move over here, you wind up with a young woman over here, or a woman, I shouldn't say young woman, a woman over here. If she has children, it's expensive. You know, maybe not to all American standards, but it's expensive. A couple kids can cost you uh, uh, over, a couple, over a couple thousand a year to put a couple of kids in school. Um, they don't have free schooling like they do in the United States. So this is a consideration. As I have had men say, hey, I'm on my social security, I want to come over. And I met this girl, she got a couple of kids and said, hey, with a couple of kids, life is going to be tight on social security. Because uh, it's going to squeeze at a couple ends and you want to be able to want your kids to be able to dress well. and." Uh, and I'll let that drop a time. I think that about ties it up. Uh, a lot of people ask if they can live over here in Social Security. Yes. Depending where you want to live at. Depending on how you are with your money. Um, be a little frugal. If you want to go out there and party, raise heck, you're not going to be able to do it. If you want to live conservative and live a little bit outside of the, the middle of the city, you can live reasonably comfortable on your social security. One of your highest costs you'll run into is it's actually the highest cost is immigration. And if you get married, that can be taken care of. But um other than that, life is good here, you know. It's not a if you've got a little bit of a nest egg and come over, or you've got a decent retirement, it can be very comfortable. Excuse me. It'd be very comfortable here. If you come over with a little chunk of money, it can be. Uh, because then you go down, you get your renewals after your initial stay. After you've been here for a while, there's a few things you can do with immigration that you can't do your first month or two. And you come down, you get yourself an extension for six months at a time. Saves that trip back and forth. Saves you, oh, it'll save you quite a bit of money to get it six months at a time. Um, you can get yourself when you get in you don't have to worry about your deposits if you have enough money you come in and say if I got to pay that deposit it's not a big deal if you're coming over here with a couple thousand dollars in your pocket you say God I got to pay that first last month and get all my power hooked up and all that and uh, it, it'll make your eyebrows quiver maybe maybe I come over here pretty barefooted. I come over pretty barefooted. I, I didn't bring a lot of anything. I I came over with a, enough money with a ticket and uh, with a backpack and says, "Hey, I want to make it go," and and that's what I've done. So I can tell you from my point of view that you can come over here on Social Security. You can live and you can be comfortable. Um, you're not going to be out partying, clubbing, eating out all the time. Oh my God, every time I, I, I get rambling so much, eating out all the time. I get to take me in a Myra's video. Oh my God, I ramble so much, I can't believe it my own self. Um, <laughs> Myra, the last video is where she went to the nice restaurant. My Myra does lunch. Oh my God, a couple, three days. A thousand pesos, we spent a thousand pesos eating. And I said, hey, 1,000 pesos, I can get a half a bag of rice for that. I can get pork for four days for that. And, and it's really too bad because I think instead of sitting there and going, hey, I'm in a nice restaurant. This is neat and I enjoy it. She's sitting there thinking, all this money going to waste. And she's, she says, and I didn't even sit on the soft chairs that look like couches. <laughs> She said, he says, I got to look at soft chairs. <laughs> In the video, if you would have understood, understood the Tagalog, understood her, her, uh, 
Because I said, hey, what do you want to eat? And she says, I don't have a, what is it, bagaun, bagaun and, uh, and uh, tubo. And she was making a joke because of the tubo, that's the, the coconut wine, because that's two of the cheapest things you can get. You can get that. Uh, the bagaun is, is the video we had back uh, a while ago about eating uh, the fermented fish in death side. That's bagaun fermented fish intestines and shrimp and uh, and the tubo is just uh, it's coconut juice basically coconut it's not even actually they call it coconut wine but I know the stuff I had was about as alcoholic as um, milk but uh, anyway I'm gonna end I'm gonna end now this turn into a longer video on what I meant it to be uh, life is good it's good over here but I, I, I throw one more word of caution to a lot of people. If you don't like it in the United States and things aren't good for you there, and you say, I don't like it, it's no good, I gotta get out, really think twice. Because life is good everywhere. Life is good everywhere. The perspective of life is made with your mind. And. Uh, if you're very uncomfortable and you think life is bad and you've got to get out, there's a pretty good chance that those problems are going to follow right behind you. A pretty good chance of it. Because life is good everywhere. Life is good. I enjoy the... Uh, Colorado. I lived in Colorado. I loved it. Loved Colorado. Loved it. Arkansas. Uh, I enjoyed Ohio. I enjoyed Pennsylvania. Florida. Uh, in different places in Europe. I enjoyed it there. Mexico City. Up in Canada, I, I love, love, I enjoyed everywhere. So, be careful you don't look at me and go, oh my God, that guy's so happy. If I was there, I'd be happy too. All right, this guy's happy everywhere. And with that, I'll say life is good, and I'll really quit. Have a good day, y'all. Hey, take a look at my blog. Take a look at my blog. I'm working more and more on the blog, and if I see a little bit of attention or people subscribe, I see subscribers. I'll, I'll really get devoted in it. If you subscribe, I'll send you um, I'll send you e-cards. Unless you subscribe and say I don't want you to bother me anymore. Uh, if you subscribe, I'll send you e-cards. If I get especially a, a really good neat picture or something. Um, uh, or I know that there's somebody that you you en you enjoy to, to talk to. You you said, well, I know this guy's a La La fan, or I know this guy likes Faye. I'll make a point of making an e-card and shooting you an e-card with a picture that uh, probably won't be public. Probably won't be something that everybody will see. Just uh, just for uh, for you. Um, also, this e-cards will be a neat thing when it gets going. When I open up to the public, it'll be a neat thing for other people to use. Hey, now I really am going. Oh my God, every time I say I'm going, I keep talking, talking, talking. As Myra says, she says, oh my God, sometimes, Jack, you're talking, 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 talking. Oh well. Have a good day.